Welcome to today's video. Today I thought I'd do something a little different for me. I was just sitting around thinking last night, you know what? There's a sale going on right now. Why don't I do a full face of Clean Beauty from Sephora? Because, you know, why not? Why not take advantage of the sale? So I went to the Sephora site and I typed in Clean Beauty and it came up Clean Beauty Sephora in the search bar and I went through category by category. And I was kind of surprised. So the first one I went to was foundation and bite came up. And I thought, oh, okay, well, I guess I don't need to buy a foundation. That's really cool. And I went to every single category and I found that I actually have something in every category, save for dedicated lip. Well, actually, no, I do have dedicated lip. But I also have lips that are cheek slash lips. So let's get into it. Do a full face of clean beauty that you might already have and you just don't know it. I have done my skincare. I've added a couple of things I usually don't wear because it's so dry here. And I have mentioned before that I love the bite, but it's a little fussy. And I'm hoping that we're not going to have any issues here. This is a teeny, teeny bit too dark for me. And I'm trying to decide if I want to add the LeBeige to it to lighten it up, but then it wouldn't be clean, so we're not going to. So, let's start. Just going to put a little on my hand, and I love a finger application for everything. Actually, this color seems, it's just a little bit too dark for me. And I do love this, and it has a scent to it that I really like, and I'm not someone who loves scent, but this one does not irritate my skin. I'm using a light hand just so there's no balling or pilling going on. And then we'll just go in with the Beauty Blender to smooth it out. But this has better coverage than the Reboot, which I adore. And I have no idea how much I have left in here. That's one of the bummers. There's a hair on my face somewhere. It's been a teeny bit fussy. Just a teeny bit. I am going to get some under my eyes because the coverage is nice. And the concealer that I'm going to use doesn't have a lot of coverage. So be needing that help. And the sun just came up. Hmm. Okay, so that is L40, and it's not too dark. It seems to be working really well. Now that I have my foundation on, I have to do something with my lips because they're killing me. And this is the Core Kupari, which is also clean. Concealer, this is Bendy Avocado. I have something really light and something a little too dark, so I mix them together. And this is lovely. It is not drying, thankfully. So I just kind of go on the inner with a lighter color, and then I go on the outer with the darker color that is closer to my skin tone. Pat McGrath brush. And hmm, this isn't working too well actually with the foundation underneath it. It's a little iffy. That's okay, we'll go over it with the Beauty Blender to smooth it out. Maybe Bite should do a concealer to go with their foundation. And just get that all over the lids. Beauty Blender. Instead of going in to out, I just think going up and down keeps the product where you want it. Some, with some of my concealers, if I go like this, like the Kosas, it actually moves. This is a Muji. It's a very small Q-tip. And when I get my concealer all over the eye like that, I like to clean out my eye area. And do it right above the lash line because it tends to migrate, it gets in my eyes and it bothers me all day long. So there's a little tip for you. 
Okay, foundation done. It's not full coverage, but it's more coverage than the bite. And I think it's radiant and fresh and lovely. I'm a fan. Let's go in with some blush. Or we can do some bronzer. Now, I have a product that I bought a couple of years ago. In other words, this is probably expired. It's Vibrancy by Josie Marin. And when I went to go look for it a while ago, it wasn't online, but now it's back. These are the colors. So these are two highlighters, a bronzer, and a blush. So I'm just going to go in with my Beauty Blender. And this is kind of a berry color, which can be so fresh. And then I wiped it off so I can get a nice blend without adding more color. Because it's looking a little bright to me on camera. It might not. Anything left? Just get around the eyes and just keep on blending so it's not too much. There we go. Let's go in with the Seychelles because the one in the Josie Marin may be a little darker. Let's do actually comparison swatch. So this is the Seychelles and let's see. This is kind of thick. It doesn't feel like this is the Josie Marin. So it's a little darker but it has where this is more neutral, this has more pink in it. Eh. You've seen me do the Seychelles so many times. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've already wiped this off on a towel. I'll just use a really light hand. A little bit over the nose, whatever's left, a little bit on the chin, and the jelly bits. Okay, for these highlighters, I really don't like either of them, but I'll do swatches for you. They just seem too dark for my aesthetic. So we have this one and this one. And this is too much gold, although it's closer to my skin tone, and this is too much pink. You know what we could do? Kind of, no, I think we're not going to do highlighter today. Not the end of the world because I have a lot of shine going on here. A couple of honorable mentions for things I have that fall under clean. I have the Ilia blush in Dreamer, which is very pretty, and I have the Tower 28 in Orange. I think it's called Afterglow or something like that. But I kind of like this pinkish look. But let's move on to eyeshadow Rowan 1111. Looks like this. And this is going to be just kind of an easy look. I, I'm going to start with this one. And it just gives you, especially since I'm looking so pink right now, it has like a glass skin, wet eye kind of a look because it's so close to my skin tone, but if you keep on adding to it, it won't look as close to the skin tone, because the shade will build up. And then I'm going to take this color, which is kind of a grayish taupe, and give myself a little bit of dimension. Why not? Oh, and there's a lot more reflective quality to this. And just a little bit of depth. There. You know, one thing about clean beauty that needs to be thought about, it's not always the case, but oftentimes they don't last, they don't have as long a shelf life as many of our other things. I have powder blushes that say 12 months. I have powder blushes that I've had for 12 years. You know what I mean? Powders, as long as there's not emollients in them, and formulations are very different than they were 12 years ago, but they'll last a lot longer than the shelf life. But something like this, I've only had this for maybe five or six months, and already it just feels different, and I hardly ever use it. But it's a beautiful palette, and I do like the very subtle look that I'm getting here. So that's 
eyes. We've done cheeks. We've done bronzer. We've done foundation. Let's do a little powder. I'm feeling a little shiny. And cover effects. I believe that Sephora has stopped selling cover effects in store. But they still seem to have some online, but it's on sale. So I think they're still trying to get rid of their inventory. I'm not sure, but they have it, and I have it. I bought this a long time ago because, um, who was it? Alana Davison went on and on about this for a period of time. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a try. I'm not too, too, too shiny, but a little bit. So let's calm down the forehead a little bit. And the cheek area. Just a little bit. I'm going to smooth out the under eyes one more time and then powder that area. And the Bendy Avocado is something I recommended at the Sephora sale just because it's not drying. It doesn't have a lot of coverage and it's not working super well with this foundation underneath it, but I do like it. I'm a little afraid of how it will work with this powder since there's already an incompatibility with putting the foundation under the eyes. But here we go. Voila! So for lips, I do have the Ilia for instance, but this as a lip color is really, really light, so I'm not going to do that. I also have this little milk blush that isn't bad. I think it's a little too light, but I'm going to give it a try. Yeah. A little too light for me. And of course there's the Tower 28. So I'll just put the tower over the lip and maybe that will help it out a little bit. Mascara. I didn't do brows, so I'm not going to do that. But the Kush by Milk it's organic. So we're going to do that. I think I said organic. What I meant was green. I have no idea what, if any, of these products are organic. But this is my full face of clean beauty at Sephora, and it's stuff I already have, and it might be stuff you already have. I'm just going to take down the hair and... Okay, maybe that was a mistake, but there it is. It's a very easy, kind of pretty fresh look. I do wish that I had a little bit more in the shadow department because this is what makes it more of a not much of a look and also lips. A little more power in the lip department would be helpful. So some areas that I could look at is Ilya has some lip colors that are a little bit darker. Lawless has some things, and Lawless also has some shadows, and Aether also is a brand I haven't seen in person, and I haven't seen a lot about, but they are also green, and they do eyeshadow palettes. So, in the eyeshadow palette realm, there's more to choose from. It's just, I happen to have this, and it'll give you more of a made-up look, where I feel like the look I'm getting here is pretty natural, soft, gentle, not making a statement, not really specific in any way, just, you know, pretty. You know what I think I'm going to do? Just because I feel like I need more depth of color in my lips, because everything kind of looks the same color, I'm going to put some of this on my lips. Why not? Oh my goodness. This looks like a metallic lip. How fun. Okay, the lip just went to evening, <laughs> and hmm, is there anything else I can do? I'm just sitting here thinking, ah, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I'm not, I'm not loving this look, and it shouldn't just be, hey, I'm using Clean Beauty, but it's, hey, I got a great effect, and then I remembered I have some bite. So these I got on sale when they were getting rid of all of their old products and then coming back initially with their foundation. 
they are making these again, I think, but these are the ones I have, and I have a couple of things that are pretty colorful. I have a brown, which is not colorful. No, I don't feel like it. And then I have this, which is colorful. Aha! I feel like I've just kind of lit up my face, so much so, that I'm going to put a little bit on my hand and pick it up with my finger, and it just kind of melts in so nicely. Just do a little bit on the cheeks. Maybe a little too much. And just go with a beauty blender just to make sure it's blended. And now it feels much more fresh and much more fun and, I don't know, maybe even much more me. Yeah, full face of Clean Beauty from Sephora using some Bite, using some Tower that I took off, using the Rowan, using the Vibrancy Palette from Josie Marin, using the Cover FX Powder, and a Bite Lip. I think that's it. Lots of fun, just something different. I hope you might have found something that you're interested in to see it in action or just came along for the ride for a little break from your day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope it was helpful. And I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe and smart. And I'm wishing you good health.